Wanted to do another uh, video for you guys. We're just going to go over uh, sort of a two column layout with uh, div boxes and CSS uh, in Dreamweaver. So, uh, before we do that though, I just want to explain the concept of CSS floats. Um, so, I have a, a web page here of, uh, of some different float examples. Uh, the first one we have uh, is just a, a left floated block element. When I say block element, uh, I, I essentially just mean a div. In this case, uh, we have our div floated to the left uh, with 200, 200 pixels width on it. So, um, you know, you might want this type of effect if you were maybe putting a, a pull quote or an image at the side of a paragraph. Uh, this is what, what you might use a float for in this case. And uh, you'll see that as I uh, resize the browser window, the text wraps nicely around that uh, left floated block element. So the second example we have here, uh, number two, uh, this is uh, a left floated block element adjacent to uh, a right floated. So this would uh, give you sort of um, a, a box on your left and one on your right. So the third example is just uh, three left floated block elements. This is what you might use uh, if you were going to make a three column layout. You might need to set each column to a different width, but uh, this technique of, of floating three div boxes next to each other, uh, th that is essentially how you would create a, a three column layout. So the fourth example is where we get into um, floated elements with, uh, in, the, in this example, a non-floated parent element. You'll see that um, we have this really thin line and that's uh, that thin line you're actually seeing is its container element and what's happening is the container is actually collapsing down because it, it, it thinks there's nothing in it um, and what it's kind of expecting is for you uh, to have maybe filled that element with uh, a bunch of text or something so that it would wrap around those those boxes but since you haven't done that um, it thinks that that box is actually the container is actually empty and when in reality it actually has these two floated el uh, elements inside it so the way to get around that is to apply a, um, a property called overflow and uh, give it the value of auto this is with CSS you, and you would apply that to the container element and what that would do is uh, what you see in this last example here which uh, which is where uh, it's no longer collapsing and it wraps nicely around both those columns. So this is a technique that we need to sort of employ to uh, get our two column layout effect uh, when, we, when we set up our um, when we set up our example here. So I'm just going to flip back uh, into Dreamweaver where you know I have this uh, page kind of already set up. Um, uh, it's in the center of our, our site. If, I just did another uh, tutorial on how to set that up. If you haven't watched that, check it out. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically set up a, a similar example to what we just talked about, where I'm going to set up um, two different boxes. I want uh, one div box for the left and one for the right, obviously. One div, and it's going to be our content div. Uh, and the other one is just going to be our sidebar. I'll insert first our content div so I'll give it the ID content and then right after that one I'll insert another one just below it and this will be our sidebar so I'll give that the ID sidebar and I'll click OK alright so there's our sidebar um, and so now we have these uh, sort of two div boxes and if we look at them um, in the code, on the code side, they are uh, basically side by side. Uh, we have our content div here and our sidebar right here. And then, uh, so we can just probably delete this uh, sort of orphan piece of text right there. So we just have our two, our two boxes. All right, so I'll click inside uh, my content bar or my content div and uh, I'll just come down here and make sure I have that hold uh, content div selected and uh, I'm gonna make uh, our, our first style for that so I'll say new CSS rule 
and uh, based on the, our, our compound selection, uh, we get this um, we get this compound selector that uh, basically is telling us it's uh, making a style for our content div, and it's being really specific and saying that it's the content div that's within our page div. So th that'll be just fine. We'll just use that. Say OK. And we'll go down here to box, and we want to set the float to left. And uh, we could go ahead and set a width on this as well right now. So I'll make this 500, and I'll say OK. All right, so here's our, our content div gets put up here. And we also want to make one for our sidebar, so I'll do the same thing. I'll click on my sidebar div and just make sure I have it selected down here. And then I'll go ahead and make a style for that sidebar div. Say OK. And this one I want to float to the right. And this one I'll make maybe uh, 200 pixels. And, and actually what I'll do is uh, I'll set a background for this um, just so we can see what, it, what color it is. Okay, and uh, I'm actually going to come back in here to my content one. And uh, I'll set a background color for it as well. Uh, make this one uh, blue or something. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, so now we're noticing this, uh, this effect where the, its container is collapsing, right? But we, what we would likely want is to have um, our container stretching around both of those columns. That, that would make the most sense. So um, the way to do that is uh, I'll just click in one of the one of the two um, inside inside divs, either the content or the sidebar, and I'll come down here uh, to this uh, breadcrumb, and what I want to select is uh, the container, which is the page. So you can see that it kind of selected up here. Uh, this y you can sort of see in this yellow that that's it has highlighted the the page div. So that's the container, and uh, you can see that it's not stretching around. So we'll go ahead and fix that right now. We'll create a new CSS rule for it, and it's applying to our page, so that's okay. We'll say okay, and what we want to do is uh, we'll go down here to positioning, and we'll say overflow, and we want to change that to auto, and if I say apply, okay, so there you go. Now it's stretching around uh, both those uh, columns, and uh, you know you might not want a background color on each of those columns, but uh, that's essentially the the idea for uh, for creating those columns. And if I were to go and add more content into either one of these, let's say the content, um, maybe add a couple more paragraphs down here or something. And uh, it's showing it's showing underneath here that there's some extra space underneath, but that's probably uh, I, I'm pretty sure that's probably just a, a bad preview from uh, from Dreamweaver. So if you want to double check to see what that actually looks like, head over to uh, Live View. Just click up here, and you can see that that's that's a more faithful uh, preview of what it what it's actually going to look like in a web browser uh, under Live View there. Um, there's one more thing I just want to do, and uh, I'm just going to toggle off Live View. So what what, I, what you would probably want to do for your column here is uh, let's just go back in, uh, or we'll click on this content, and uh, I'm just going to stretch this up. Okay, so I want to sort of uh, increase the width. I just want to point out actually uh, if. 760 is probably the width we need, but if I was to go um, and make this maybe even, let's say, 761, let's try that. Now you'll see that uh, this f this floated box is too big to have both of the floated boxes on the one line. So what happens is um, the, the second box that occurs 
uh, will actually get pushed down lower below it. And uh, that's just because they both won't fit on one line. So just be aware of that when you're when you're using this technique and uh, make sure that uh, between the two boxes they don't add up to more than the width of the container box. So I'll change this back to 760. And uh, that's basically how you would make the, the two columns there.